Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, semicircle fully inscribed uh, in a square A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, the center of this uh, semicircle is O, and uh, A, C is the diagonal of the square, and the length of uh, this uh, diagonal A, C is uh, 8 units and furthermore uh, this uh, line segment uh, EC is uh, tangent to this uh, semicircle at uh, point uh, P and this uh, segment uh, EA is represented by X and now our task is to find the value of this uh, length uh, X. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. Let me go over the basic uh, concept that we will be using in solving this given uh, problem. And here's the very first concept, two tangents uh, theorem. If two tangent segments uh, are drawn to one uh, circle from the same external points, uh, then they are uh, congruent, as you can see in this uh, given uh, diagram. And here we can see A and uh, B are our uh, points of uh, tangency. And O is uh, some external point then this uh, segment uh, OA is going to be congruent uh, to this segment uh, OB. And here's our next uh, concept, Pythagorean theorem, A square plus B square equal to C square. And we can apply this uh, Pythagorean theorem only on the right uh, angle uh, triangle. So therefore, in this uh, given uh, right triangle uh, ABC, our longest leg uh, AC is going to be our lowercase c side length. This side length is going to be lowercase a and this uh, lowercase uh, b. And now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, ABC. And since we are dealing with this uh, square ABCD, so therefore this side length uh, AB must be equal to this side length uh, BC. So therefore if I call this uh, side uh, a then this side length is going to be A as uh, well. And now we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our uh, Pythagorean uh, theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg AC, our side uh, C, this side A, and this uh, B side is same as A as well. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. A is same as A square plus likewise A square equal to C in our case is 8. So this is going to become 8 uh, square. Let's combine the like terms on the left hand side. That's going to give us uh, 2 times uh, a square equals to 64. Let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2. So 2 and 2 is gone. So therefore a square turns out to be 32. Let's go ahead and undo this uh, square by taking a square root on uh, both uh, sides. So therefore we can see this square and square root is uh, gone. So therefore our a value turns out to be and now let's focus on the right hand side uh, square root of 32 I have just copied it down and if we simplify that is going to be equal to 4 times uh, square root of 2 so therefore our a value turns out to be 4 times uh, square root of 2 units and since uh, a represents the side length uh, of the square so therefore side length of the square uh, turns out to be 4 times square root of 2 units so therefore this side length is going to be 4 times square root of 2. This side length is 4 times square root of 2. Likewise 4 times square root of 2. And finally 4 times square root of 2 units as well. And now let's recall once again the two tangent uh, theorem. If uh, two tangent segments are drawn to one circle from the same external point uh, then they are uh, congruent. So therefore uh, this uh, line segment uh, PC is going to be congruent uh, to this uh, line segment uh, BC. That means uh, this side length uh, is going to be equal to this uh, side length. If this side length is 4 times uh, square root of 2, then uh, this uh, PC length is going to be 4 times uh, square root of 2 units as well. And likewise we can see that this uh, tangent uh, EA is going to be congruent to this uh, tangent uh, EP. That means uh, they are uh, equal uh, in length. If this uh, side length is X, then EP length is going to be X uh, as well. 
And now let's make an observation. We can see that this whole uh, EC length is going to be the sum of these uh, two individual lengths uh, x plus this length uh, 4 times uh, square root of 2. So therefore this whole uh, EC length uh, is going to be 4 times uh, square root of uh, 2 plus uh, x. And likewise let's uh, focus on this uh, side length uh, AD which is uh, 4 times uh, square root of 2 and this uh, tiny length uh, EA is uh, x. So therefore uh, this uh, DE length uh, is going to be 4 times uh, square root of 2 minus uh, x. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, EDC and we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest uh, leg as our side uh, c. I'm going to call this side lowercase a and this uh, lowercase uh, b. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula. a in our case is uh, 4 times uh, square root of 2 whole uh, square plus uh, b in our case is 4 times square root of 2 minus uh, x uh, whole uh, square equal to c in our case is 4 times uh, square root 2 plus uh, x uh, whole uh, square. And now let's go ahead and simplify 4 times square root of 2 whole square is same as 32 plus and now let's recall this uh, famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus uh, b square. We are going to apply it on this uh, left hand side uh, binomial. So therefore we can write this thing as uh, 32 minus uh, a times uh, square root 2 times x uh, plus uh, x uh, square is going to be equal to and now let's recall another identity a plus b whole square could be written as a square plus uh, 2ab plus uh, b square. We are going to apply it uh, on the right hand side binomial. So therefore we can write this thing uh, 32 plus uh, a times uh, square root of 2 times x uh, plus uh, x uh, square. And now we can see this x square and x square is gone. 32 is gone with this uh, 32. So therefore we are ended uh, up with uh, 32 minus uh, a times uh, square root of 2 times uh, x uh, equal to a times uh, square root of 2 times uh, x. Let me move this uh, a times uh, square root of 2 times x uh, on the right hand uh, side. So therefore we are going to have uh, 32 equals to a times square root of 2 times x uh, plus uh, likewise a times square root of 2 times x uh, as well. And now let's combine these uh, like terms. So therefore we can write uh, 16 times uh, square root of 2 times x uh, equals to 32. Now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 16 times square root of 2 to isolate x. This is uh, gone. So therefore our x value turns out to be equal to 2 divided by square root of 2. And now since our x value is 2 divided by square root of 2, since we have the radical at the denominator, so we are going to rationalize it. So therefore I'm going to multiply and divide both sides by square root of 2. And now we know that uh, square root of 2 times square root of 2 is going to give us uh, 2. So therefore x could be written as uh, 2 times uh, square root of 2 divided by 2. And now we can see that 2 and 2 cancel each other out. So therefore our x value turns out to be square root of 2 units. So thus our x value turns out to be square root of 2 units and that is approximately equal to 1.414 units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.